<laughs> Meet Brad McDonald, the 27-year-old of half Millenbe Heritage, who featured with A-League side at the Central Coast Mariners in Australia. The midfielder is hoping to be named in Fleming Seritzliv's final 23-man squad as Papua New Guinea look to book their first ever World Cup berth when they meet Tahiti in March. What means only one thing, football, football. Having played his trade at the top of Australia's domestic competition, McDonald feels he has much to offer the national team and says that working under Australian coach Graham Arnold has given him an insight into the level of professionalism and dedication required to reach the highest level. Silly rash challenge. Yeah, he's probably one of the best, he's probably is the best coach I've, you know, been taught under. Um, he's good with his players and good with tactical. Um, so he has a plan A, plan B, plan C if things go wrong in the game. So comparing the new teammates he has to his previous stint with the national team, McDonald believes the latest batch of PNG representatives have much more drive than ever before to win. You know, from the first time I met in Singapore with Winton, going from there to now, it's a lot more off the pitch, it's a lot more discipline. Um, when asked about the notable absence of fellow teammates, McDonald believes it is always a difficult time for those involved. However, the desire to play for the country would always be stronger than playing for club. You know, you, you should always want to represent your country. There's, that should be the highest level there is. There should be, if you represent your country, you can play anywhere you want. You shouldn't be restricted to, you know, Papua New Guinea. As if you play for your country, you can play Asia, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, wherever. His parting piece of advice was for players to learn as much as possible in order to grow as footballers. Jeremy Moggy, National TV Sports.